What happens if you take a gas and you squeeze it into a smaller volume at a constant temperature? And can we explain this in terms of the gas molecules? Well, easiest way to look at this is if you think about a, a piston, like a, a bicycle pump, for example, that we can push in and out. And this gas here is in the chamber. And think about a single gas particle which is bouncing backwards and forwards off the piston and the back wall. Now remember a gas is a collection of particles, atoms, molecules which move very fast in straight lines with a lot of space between them and they collide with the container walls that they're in. And because of they collide, they exert a force on the container walls. So this, this particle is, is bouncing off the piston and the back wall. And every time it bounces, it exerts a little force. And the average force over time um, means that we've created a pressure. This gas has a pressure because that force acts on the area of the piston. OK, we're going to keep the temperature the same. So it's just worth noting. So if the temperature is constant, then the average speed, the average speed of the gas particles is the same. Temperature is a measure of the energy of gas particles. So if, if we increase the temperature, they will move faster. They have more kinetic energy. But we're going to hold them at a constant temperature, so they keep moving at the same speed. So we're going dunk, 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 backwards and forwards, bouncing off the piston. Let's push the piston in now and see what happens. So we'll push it into about here, oh, perhaps not just there. OK, so we've pushed it in. Now this gas molecule uh, is still going at the same speed because we're at a constant temperature and it's bouncing backwards and forwards off the piston and the back wall. So what can we say about how it's moving? Well, here we've got the sort of rate of dunk, 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 dunk. But here, because we've reduced the volume, we've got a much higher rate of collisions. We've got a dunk, 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 dunk. So we can say that the rate of collisions, the particle's rate of collisions with the walls increases when we reduce probably a better word is to when we decrease the gases volume or the gas volume so the rate of collisions increases backwards and forwards faster hitting the piston and the back wall more times per second that's what rate means so this is like collisions per second increases collisions per second so what does that mean? Well, because we're hitting the piston and the back wall more times a second, the average force on the piston and the back wall increases. So we can say this means that, this means that, and that, by the way, is a, is a brilliant phrase to use in your descriptive answers when you're trying to think of more things to say. This means that the average force average force exerted by the colliding particles or the colliding particles increases increases like somebody hitting you many times a second where up here they're only hitting you once in a, in a little while average force increases and if the average force increases, that means the pressure that the gas exerts on its container increases. So this means the average force exerted by the colliding particles increases. And therefore, 
the gas exerts a greater pressure. Remember that a, a force that acts on an area, here's the piston in 3D, if we've got a force acting on this area here, will create a pressure. So, there we have it. If we decrease the volume of a gas, then the gas exerts a greater pressure. There's a bigger gas pressure inside. And that's the key thing to take away from this flashcard. That um, the volume decreases, so we decrease the gas volume, then the pressure of the gas increases.